the RJ66 build update part two. It's been a little bit since we've been working on her, but now we're here in the off season and Nick's been getting down with the fab work on the C10. So let me show you what we've been cranking on here in the shop. One thing I've kind of said over and over again is how squeezed we are for space in this truck with it using the full cab. So one of those things that got real tight was the air cleaner on this actually where the carburetor sits, there's only like two inches before it clears the top of the hood. So uh, Nick got a little creative and actually hand built this full air intake setup where we've been working with the K&N guys to get as much air to this engine as possible. With the headers coming out of the Croyer motor, um, there's a lot of heat right here. So trying to keep the air cleaner out of the heat and, and do something cool and different at the same time. So we're actually gonna work with the K&N guys, make this whole thing out of carbon. So when it's finished up, it's gonna look super trick. It's one of those things, right when you open the hood, you see it right in front of you. So we wanted it to look cool and I think it, it's doing just that. So the front end of the truck's just about wrapped up, just finalizing a couple things. One of the, the pieces that we just put onto the puzzle is these uh, Willwood disc brakes. They make a basically bolt-on kit for a C10. It bolts directly to their drop spindles, so six piston in the front, four piston calipers in the rear. Um, this is a heavy truck. It's gonna be over 4,000 pounds when it's done, so rolling down the street, it's the last thing you wanna do is have any problems with your brakes. So the Willwood stuff's been super nice to work with, real racy. Um, and the red caliper is gonna shine great through those walker wheels. You'll still be able to use it and function. Sorry, my, my uh, messenger. He's duck farting over there. So when the rear suspension's all finalized, there'll be a false bed in here basically. It'll sit right on top of the frame rails. It'll be super shallow, but you'll still be able to function it. So cooler, dirt bike, whatever, will still go in the bed. You'll still wanna be able to use this as a truck. It's also cool. This Nick really beefed up the back of it, so I'm gonna integrate a trailer hitch so I can tow a razor around if I want to. So it wouldn't be a hot rod build unless you ended up buying something off eBay. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what oil tank to put in this truck and um, Nick and Johnny found this hot rod oil tank set up on eBay. Actually came off the number 47 NASCAR. Raced back in 2007. 47 loses it, comes back around and takes out the 66 car. Quite the oil tank, all the work they put into is actually insane. It's thin down here, so um, it actually fits this truck perfect. Pretty cool, it was on a NASCAR back in the day, and um, not many C10s probably have a more dry sump tank, so it's it's a pretty cool, pretty cool setup and fits the truck perfectly. Take a piece out or something to get you on the throw real side. Because if the cooler's going here, nothing, I guess, is going in there. Not really. Like, whatever air compressor and air tank is, I'm gonna try to yeah. tuck up under yep. there. So there's like a, just a big dead area right there, kind of in the middle. So next over here, finalizing the uh, the rear bed mounts, basically, what the, the subframe will be for the rear bed. That it'll, it'll tilt up, so we'll be able to put gas in it, um, work on anything in the back of the truck that we need to. So, excited to see the progress over the next couple months. Um, boys gonna keep working at it, and, uh, Stay tuned, follow along at the RJ66 on Instagram for uh, in-between updates.